This exhibition is called Like Life, Sculpture, Colour and the Body from 1300 to now. So that's 700 years of extraordinary sculptures that were made to persuade the viewer that something human lurked at the core of an inanimate sculpture. It occupies the top two floors of the Met Breuer, quite an extensive group of works. It is an extraordinary urge that creative people have to create simulacras of ourselves. So what we do in the exhibition is we explore that. We're looking at all the tactics that artists use to really convince the viewer that what they're seeing is an alive human being, or sometimes a profoundly dead one. These include wax, something soft that evokes flesh. Body parts, human hair, teeth, bones, dressing the sculpture in real clothes. Other strategies are using fabric, such as Louise Bourgeois, where you have stuffing that is literally bursting out of the seams. Above all is the application of colour. It opens with this extraordinary piece by Dwayne Hansen. It's almost as if one is being confronted by a human being. That is an effect that a visitor will experience going through the exhibition. What we're not doing is a chronological walk through time. We're creating conversations between the past and the present. So for example, a figure of Saint Sebastian carved in Spain at the beginning of the 16th century by Alonso Baroguete with a polychrome sculpture by Reza Aramash, made very recently showing a young Palestinian man who's been stripped down to his underwear and is both humiliated and eroticized in a way that is very similar to the Saint Sebastian. Perhaps the most bizarre object is the so-called auto-icon of the English philosopher Jeremy Bentham. When he died in the 1830s, they made a waxwork portrait of him, but inside the body is his own skeleton. Ultimately, what we're trying to ask is what the relationship is between art and our mortality. It doesn't necessarily mean death, but it does mean this moment that we're in, this moment of transition, which is life. These works are profoundly about the human condition, about love, desire, death, illness. So as much as this is a show about art, it's also a show about us, about our common humanity.